Hi guys, it's Michal from Hypnotic Techno Production and today I will show you how to turn your percussive loop like this into something like this with the help of shifter. Okay, so let's dig into it and let's add um, a new instance of shifter. And before I do that, let, let me give you a context why I think it's uh, necessary. Uh, quite often when I work with people, especially when they begin producing their music, they think that to add some movement, to add the energy, to add the interest, they need to add more stuff. And the result is that they end up with the cluttered uh, arrangement, which is really hard to uh, listen to and to define specific sounds. And this is uh, due to their lack of um, modulation and variations into the uh, sounds they already have. So to add um, nice modulation, kind of like um, modular style modulation, we would use a shifter. So what shifter essentially, essentially does, it allows us to add different modulation to the uh, incoming signal. And we got three modes here. And today we will focus on the ring mode. And the ring modulation, it works that way that it adds and subtract the frequency we choose. So in this instance, we will add Six, uh, 736 hertz and subtract the same amount, uh, the same uh, frequency. And the result will be like this phasing sound with, which will add a nice uh, modulation to the incoming signal. So let, let's hear it without. We got very regular percussion loop. And we start to hear this effect being applied. So then we can adjust first the frequency we got um, higher timbers. But at this point, we kind of end up with the static sound. So to add a bit of movement, we will use the LFO section here. And we got the triangle wave for the modulation. And let's add the amount. So what happens now is that this line, the LFO modulation line, modulates the frequency of that ring modulation and we hear that pitch is rising and falling and to add, it, add even more let's add a bit of spin and what it does it essentially creates uh, like the, the difference between the speed of LFOs in left and right channel we can use a phase uh, modulation, so the phase of the LFO signals are different in the left and right channels, but let's let's keep it with spin and let's make it a bit more crazy, so the LFO is a bit faster. And now we got this kind of cool, in my opinion at least, modulation of this. What we can add even more is add an envelope follower. So an envelope follower will react to the envelope, uh, the amplitude envelope of the incoming signal. So this instance, the percussion, which has really tight, a uh, quick envelope, which will add a bit of modulation. So right now it's, it's off. Yeah, a bit of modulation towards the higher end of the spectrum and towards the low end of the spectrum. I like it lower to be honest. So the way I would use it is I would have, I would have this in the context and I would, for example, record an instance uh, of this modulation into separate audio channel. And then I would just modulate Let's turn the LFO down a bit. Let's and this is super nice for any transitions.
And as you can see, we could basically do endless modulation here. You, you can experiment with different waveforms that will give you the modulation with different rates, amount, different settings of the envelope, as well as the tone of the whole modulation. This is perfect for uh, any percussion elements, but also for some synth lines. So let's use the synth line. I, I got a simple one here. And here I also added an instance of shifter that dry wet is linked to the LFO. And this is just to add a bit of modulation. And what it does is just basically adds and subtract a bit of dry wet. And again, I could automate or record. So it's like a modular in my opinion now. I hope you get the picture so far. So remember modulations, key, um, key parameters, key thing to, to have in mind when you are producing electronic music and especially like deep hypnotic techno, which is all about like these sounds moving, morphing into something really interesting and uh, ear pleasing. Thank you for watching. I hope you've learned something interesting today. And if you want to learn more from me and support my work, you can buy Rapid Arrangement Mini Workshops for just 17 euros. The link is in the description or watch any other videos popping around here.